Hey, what is up, citizens? This is President Vocelli with another Pokemon team building episode for all of you. So, today I have a fully Johto team. Fully Gen 2 because I am uh, launching the first episode of the Pokemon Resurrection Nuzlocke today to coincide. Well, well, this coincides with that. Not, not, not that coincides with this. That does, it doesn't work that way. Anyways, as you can see, I'm wearing the Ho-Oh shirt to celebrate all of this. And uh, just to give you a little information on uh, this new series, basically it is a Nuzlocke in Pokemon Heart Gold. A randomized Nuzlocke in Pokemon Heart Gold where any Pokemon who uh, dies in battle gets another chance if and only if I can beat a team of the uh, killing Pokemon, the Pokemon who uh, killed all these dead party members, uh, with those dead Pokemon in a Pokemon showdown battle with an actual person. So hey, the full details will be in the first episode, of course, the uh, Choose My Starter episode, by the way, so you can have your input there, if you like. So uh, make sure to watch that, I'll have an annotation to it, uh, you, well, you have already seen it. So anyways, uh, without further ado, let us get started with this team builder. So first off, I have my special wall, Cyber Duck, the Porygon 2, rocking the Eviolite, with um, full HP and special defense investment, it's gonna become a monster. A, a special monster. Uh, and really, I don't have to worry about his defense, because it with Evilite, it's really, really good. And then I just have Recover to um, heal off any damage. Hey, I'm doing nice. So anyways, it's running Tri-Attack, Shadow Ball, in case I get walled by Ghost Types. I mean, uh, there is Dewblade in UU right now. And yes, this is a UU team, by the way. So yeah, I do have to uh, carry a solution to that. And Toxic to help whittle down my opponent's team. Next off, we have Gene the Espeon, like a Gene Gray from X-Men. Uh, it's dual screener, so rocking the light play, reflect and light screen. Full HP investment to uh, better take some hits. And a uh, full speed investment to set up those screens as soon as possible. Anyway, it's running Psy Shock because uh, Floor just is a thing in UU, so you want to hit it on the physical side. And plus, Psy Shock is just very, very useful in general. Uh, and Baton Pass to help, to help me get some switch initiative. Yeah, because if my opponent uh, hard switch out, then I baton pass and I get the switch in whatever I want. Mwah! Beautiful. Next off, I have Boreas, the Suicune. You know, the god of the North Winds. Which, uh, yes, Suicune was thought to be the manifestation of the North Wind. So, yeah, I think that name works out pretty well. Anyway, it's uh, the standard Crocoon set. So, you have Scald and Calm Mind to uh, increase its special bulk and special attack. Uh, it's already fully defensively invested uh, and HP invested, so it's good there. Uh, and then it has Rest to heal off any damage, and Sleep Talk to keep using those Skulls and Calm Minds. Oh, and potentially Rest, but that's... I, I don't want to land on that. I don't want the Wheel of Probability to land there. Anyway, next off, I have Sheer the Feraligator, a Sheer Force Life Orb set with Waterfall, Ice Punch, and Crunch. And Dragon Dance up just all of the attack moves. Just all of them. 66% with the combination of Life Orb and Sheer Force, and no Life Orb recoil either! Uh, and then you get a Staff of Waterfall and a, an extra Dragon Dance boost. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. Anyways, of course, full attack and speed investment. I was debating whether to run Adamant or Jolly. You know, I think I'm gonna run Adamant. There's not it, there's not many choice Scarfers I'd be able to outspeed anyways. And plus, um, once I would be able to outspeed, like, I don't know, Chandelure, if it was modest, uh, I, I mean, I, I think most Choice Scarfers in UU run um, pro speed natures because the, the Choice Scarfers are just so close in speed tiers that you can't risk uh, having a little extra attack uh, but getting outsped. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to make it adamant, put all my eggs in the attack basket. Alright, anyways, next off we have Pantene the Mega Ampharos. Hands the Pantene because this thing has some beautiful locks of hair. Anyways, um, I'm running the Thunderbolt, Dragon Pulse, Focus Blast, and Agility set. So, uh, with max speed investment, you'll be able to get that get that speed up even further and uh, outspeed most things that hit with a nice, nice 165 base special attack. That is nasty, man. Whew! 
All right, and finally, we have Greybeard, uh, the Entei, because it is a shiny Entei, because, oh, wait. Oh, I, ha I have to change that then. <laughs> uh, if I'm not running extreme speed, I don't wanna be running a shiny version because I like standard Entei better. So anyways, uh, this is a Choice Scarf variant with Sacred Fire, Bulldoze, because uh, I just kinda wanted ground type stab. Uh, Stone Edge and Iron Head. Anyways, uh, this one has, yeah, this thing has a uh, 100 base speed, so if I pop a Choice Scarf onto it, make it jolly, and also put four, the four remaining EVs there, uh, I'll be able to outspeed uh, pretty much all of the other Choice Scarfers in the tier. Now, I, I, I'm rethinking Bulldoze here. I mean, Extreme Speed's kind of nice, but uh, I, I mean, I don't really need priority when I have Choice Scarf. Then again, it does have more base damage. And what I'm really... What I'm really trying to think is uh, something that can deal with... Uh, what, no, I got Darmanitan Chandler covered with um, either Bulldoze or Stone Edge. I want something that can take care of Crocodile, though. <sighs> but what could what could possibly take care of Crocodile? Hmm. 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 I mean, I need a uh, like a Water type, Grass type, Berry type. Oh God! Yeah, imagine if Ante got play rough. That'd be amazing. See what else? Ice type. Hey, do, do you get ice fang? You get ice fang? Not no, you don't. You don't. Well, anyways, um, with crocodile, I get, I do have a uh, Boreas and Sheer to help take care of that. But of course, I have to fear the knockoff. But anyways, that is for another. That is to worry about when I'm actually doing matches, because this, this is just a, uh, this is just a gimmick team. You know, uh, just celebrating Johto and everything great about it. So, hey, with its flaws, I will embrace them. You know, like my double grass and electric weakness here. So then again, I resist it with uh, Pantene and Redbeard. Partially. Anyways, that was just me rambling. So, hey, thank you very much, citizens, for watching this team builder. If you like, be sure to click on that like button and to share it because only you can build a hype train. And finally, uh, if you want to stay updated on my other Pokemon team builders and battles and other Pokemon content and or just anything else on my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that you follow me on Facebook and Twitter links to which are in the description below. So hey, thank you again for watching, and this has been Prison Brochelli, signing off.